Recently, I have given a survey to my students, um, and it should be a mid-semester survey where, uh, in the middle of the semester, I would like to know uh, and get some feedback from my students what have been good, what has been not so good, what I should be improving on, etc. Right, due to some technical difficulties, um, basically now only I get the responses um, and this is already week 12 so there's not much room for improvement left in the remaining two weeks but anyway I think uh, we should just go through the responses and see what they have to say about certain things right hopefully uh, there are some, some things that I can improve on uh, if not for them at least for the coming students coming semester inshallah so uh, without further ado let's go to the response of the survey <coughs> Right, so this is the, basically this is the um, feedback after mid-semester uh, survey. And in this page here, basically this is the question. So the first question, for example, here, the lecturer is good at his, at his job and then one to five. Okay, so for some of the initial question at the beginning here, it's more of a rating. Um, but I'm more interested in the later question where it's subjective where they can actually give their own opinion uh, if they if they want right so I'm hoping some of the student will be brutally honest and say something that will really impact and improve me as a lecturer as a teacher inshallah right so we will go to the response so as you can see here there are 40 responses um, the number of students that I teach this semester is about um, 100 plus it's 105 or something so we can round out as a 140 responses meaning 40 percent response that we have uh, it's not the majority but hopefully we can still find a meaningful feedback inshallah all right so um, there's some summary there are summary portion here but for this kind of question because it is it's uh, for me it's harder to appreciate the, the response um, in this format, so for this kind of question, I would go and see individual question and what are the responses, right? So let's see. Um, so the all right, we will start with the question number one. Um, the question is basically this: um, the lecturer is good at his job, and then. Um, they have to give a rating one is totally disagree five is totally agree and we will see what is the response so here we can see that 20, 26 responses is uh, no sorry or oh, this one yeah so for the those who give number five is 26 response from the 40 and 13 give number four and one give number three right so um, yeah, so pretty positive, I think. Um, I'm thankful for that. Hopefully, I'm actually truly uh, good at my job. Um, anyway, uh, question number two. The implementation of flipped classroom approach is positive for my learning process. Yeah, I'm interested to know about this also. Um, so, five, totally agree, 21 responses and uh, number four uh, 13 responses uh, and, and the middle uh, six responses so um 21 percent if you can see um now here's the thing because when we go to the chart right for example like this summary um i think um this one like 52 percent says totally agree i think that is can be seen as 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 uh, is it biased? What was the term? Meaning that because this answer is uh, this percentage is skewed towards uh, the, the 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 group that answer, which is the forty forty students that answer, right? But if we are to assume that most of the forty that answer is normally from the top half of the students, and the the bottom half, for example, might not majoritily majoritily the majority of them might not um, uh, respond to this survey so i might have to take from the meaning i have to consider the number itself from the hundred right so in that case if i do like that so those who are saying totally agree with the flipped classroom approach is roughly 21 percent or if we 
is quarter for example quarter of the students right and those who are agree number four is around 15 more percent right so that's quite significant i do believe um and there's a reason to it i think because the approach do uh, favor those who are much more prepared or willing to be more prepared for class right so it's perhaps not for everybody i do ag I, I do agree with that but hopefully um, the students for the students for ma the majority can cope with that and hopefully it's best for them inshallah right so it's quite interesting to see that um, there are responses at the middle there and if you assume some many of those who didn't respond to the survey also think like this um, and to consider that for our culture we do not like to give harsh comment that much uh, it's a Malay culture or is it Asian culture I don't, I'm not sure so perhaps three means actually more less than that but they want to be polite right so um, perhaps that's something that I would need to look at um, how to cater for those who uh, yeah struggle with certain approach right? okay so the third question the lecture the recorded lecture lecture sorry the recorded lecture is adequate for me to good, get good understanding of the topics right so basically is it learning by the video recording is it adequate for them to get good understanding so 27 percent uh, 27 responses says totally agree and another nine per nine uh, responses says agree basically right so and um, in this case uh, not as much uh, respond uh, on number three so that is quite interesting um, perhaps the fact that they have to prepare from before class is more difficult than the video format itself right perhaps that's the case um, so yeah um, maybe the video itself is okay but the fact that they have to spend time before the class maybe the previous night before the class maybe that is more difficult for some i i'm assuming that way um next i want to continue I want the quiz to continue as a group quiz. Okay, there's a story behind this, um, and uh, I will talk about it a bit after this. Um, especially if you are not from my pool of students, right? We might wonder, but why do you do quiz and in a group? Okay, so three to thirty-three respond yes, quiz all the way. Okay, the majority from forty, but okay. And it's expected, right? Because most students would like a group quiz because they can depend on others, I would assume. Number three, I prefer group quiz, but I just don't like my partner. Okay. Um, okay, so three person responded uh, like this. I'm not sure if the three actually is the three partner and they dislike each other, but I do not like, I do not think so. Um, I'm assuming those who would answer like this tend to be those who uh, have their partner totally dependent on them right and yeah and that is not a good dynamic in a group so i'm assuming that but this yeah I'm, I'm not sure how to cater that one i like surprises so do quiz do group quiz sometimes and do individual quiz some other times and please do not tell us in advance three responses this is interesting respond uh, response um, I'm not sure if I do this the majority up here will be happy or not right because I do like to give surprises as well um, but we'll discuss that a bit after this absolutely not I hate group quiz I want individual quiz only one response so this is also interesting um, to know that some student in this case one student actually prefer individual quiz rather than um, group quiz perhaps the being in a group and have to share the answer etc um, is much of a more of a burden rather than a help right so tendency is this a, a good student feeling that the, the 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 partner is dragging him or her down or something all right now um this is actually the first time the first semester that i have ever done quiz in a group right 
and actually it started uh, at the very beginning where I did not intend it to be that way but at that time uh, we have a problem with the photocopy machine and I can only um, copy for a certain number of, of papers which is far less than uh, the number of students that I have and at that time the HDR that I have is okay let's do a group quiz because I still want to do the quiz right and then after I did the group quiz I noticed certain thing one the most impact on me myself personally is that the time that I have to take to mark the quiz is much much shorter compared to previous semester of course because the number of question paper is much less right so I thought okay this is nice I do not have to spend as much time as previously on quizzes because I give quite a lot quiz I think um, currently I think we are at quiz number 13 and we have another two weeks plus so maybe it will be 14 15 or 16 quizzes in one semester right so in 14 weeks we have like 16 quiz for example so that's more than one quiz per week in average right so by many group I think that's quite a lot um, but um, I, I, I prefer a lot of quizzes because the students tend to be more prepared in the end anyway uh, with a lot of quiz and with just a huge number of students normally the, the time that I take for marking the quiz or grading the quiz is quite a lot um, it's not sustainable for myself long term I think so when I did a group quiz in the first two times and I, I realized that I save so much time and I can focus on other things too, um, my bias, my tendency is to go that way. Right? And another thing is uh, I have been implementing quiz uh, not primarily as a, a, what do you call assessment of learning. I, pref I, I model it more towards assessment for learning. Right? And of course, we can talk about that uh, in a different video if anyone interested in what is the different philosophy between the two. But I noticed that when they did group quiz, it quite helped some of the student um, to better understand um, what what they are being being tested on and also what they have covered, right? Because it forces them to discuss within the small group taking the quiz, right? So, and in other words, in other I don't know. Um, they do not put the time to discuss among them outside of class, etc. Right? But in that moment, they are forced to discuss, and they discuss, and perhaps they discover some new understanding, etc. Right? So it seems to help many of the students. So I think from my philosophy that I use for quizzes, that is helpful because I want the quiz to trigger more understanding rather than just test what they have understood. Right? So that's the philosophy that I use ever before. But I never considered the approach like this before because, yeah, I never, I never thought so. But anyway, so and it's stuck for that and for the most quiz we have done, um, group quiz. There are some individual quiz I did also do, but anyway, so that's the background of the group quiz. If anyone is wondering why I do it like that, because we will see some comment I think from student commenting on this. All right. So we are going to the fifth question of our nine. We have nine question, now number five. I'm happy with my performance in uh, midterm exam. So they have um, done their midterm exam. They have got the results. So um, and I have I did cover the overall uh, mark uh, no overall uh, trend of the marks the student obtained for the midterm. Uh, when I made a review of whether uh, the flipped classroom is effective or not in the previous video, right, in one of the vlog. Um, so if you are interested on that, go watch that one. But anyway, so for this one, um, I just want to see whether they are actually happy with their marks or how, right? So, um, 11 responses, I am satisfied with, satisfied with my marks, but I thought I would get higher marks. So, okay, 11 from the 40 responses says they are satisfied, but they thought they would get higher. Mm, okay, 10 responses says I am not satisfied with, my, satisfied with my marks as I made mistakes that could have been avoided. So, this is something that I always reminded them. 
it's best if they do mistakes in their exercises in their tutorial so that they would remember that not to make the same mistake in the exam right so uh, for those who have done mistakes in 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 the exercises in tutorial etc they tend to have more um, higher chances to avoid that kind of mistakes right so but unfortunately some students do not have that much exercises before exam so this this can happen right um yeah so i am satisfied with my mark it, uh, it is what i deserve to get eight responses but of course i cannot link this or all of these responses to what mark actually they get right so i'm just get want to survey the, the feeling that they have five responses i am shocked at my marks as i truly believe i would get ha much higher marks all right so five percent at least uh truly in shock at their marks interesting um, because I ne I didn't have any student from my section come and complain or ask why is the mark lower than what they expected so I didn't expect to have any student like this but uh, yeah okay perhaps um, but, but it depends on so how they understand this 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 line here but anyway four responses yes i am very happy with my marks so i assume this uh among those who get 80 percent or 90 percent in the midterm i am assume if they get less and they still are happy with their mark it, it will be interesting to know i am happy with my midterm marks 82.5 but i do want to improve because i would like to avoid some careless mistakes so I'm assuming he make some careless mistake, otherwise he would get much more than 82.5. That's my assumption. Uh, 82.5 generally is good enough to, if he, he maintain and this will be the final marks. So he will already get E in the current um, grading system in this school year. Um, but of course, um, final is another another different thing. So it's good to have optimum marks in the carry mark right so uh, hopefully this student will do well in the final alhamdulillah so it's just shukurillah uh, there's one responses like that um okay going to the number six question number six after the midterm exam what is your target what is your target okay i did my uh, i did an a typo error hit typo error Ty typo error what is I, I, a typo error here it should be what is your target for your final uh, grade for this semester and some grammar issues so anyway that's on me um, so my question here is I want to detect whether based on because after midterm exam meaning that based on the midterm marks what did you target because some student uh, might not be able to get A anymore because of the carry mark already dropped a certain point right so let's see 22 response says A. Interesting. So more than half from the 40 respond responding responders um, say they target A. And assuming they they it is still possible for them, so that's good I think. And that's also signify that most of the respondents are those from the higher bracket of the marks, right? So yeah. Uh, 8 responses A minus, 4 responded B plus, 3 responded B. I'm assuming this for those who are getting quite low in the midterm and they want to push up to B. I'm assuming that way. I do not know any case if a student get quite high and then they target get to drop a bit. Uh, I mean, I don't know if there's a student like that but hopefully not. <laughs> uh, I don't care just as long as I don't fail. There's 2 responses like that. Um, Hmm. Hopefully, I, I do hope they do not fail as well. I do not know who write this, but I don't do target. I just perform. Okay, nice. Okay, hopefully he, he or she perform, inshallah. Alright, going to question number seven. Any comments and feedback for the implementation of the flipped classroom or lecture recording? Okay, for this one, there's 30 responses, no comments, so most of them do not comment so for this one we'll just go to the summary because the presentation here we can just go here right all right so this is the question here any common feedback for the implementation of the flipped classroom 
and or the lecturer lecture recording so this is just open feedback and it's not compulsory so that's why you see 30 people 30 students do not comment so i guess there's 10 here anyway first comment i personally think that the flipped classroom is making me understand this course better because if i stuck at somewhere i can rewind the video okay so that's one positive thing i think um and I think this is an issue with, I'm not sure if this is a worldwide or just here culturally, many students do not like to ask questions in the class. Even if they do not understand, even if they are brave enough, they just come to you at the end of the class to ask the question. They do not ask in the middle of the class, that's one. And if they do not have that opportunity, they just keep it for themselves. So uh, that's not a good, that's not the best attitude I think. but. I guess in terms of this one, um, even meaning even in the class, if they miss out something, sometimes they do not raise a hand and say, please repeat. Right? Some students do that, but some might not. So this one, it do, does help for those students because they can go back and re, re, re hear, rewatch, etc. Right? So, okay, that's good. No, sir, your explanation is very detailed and understanding. Okay, I, I'll take that as a compliment. <coughs> Sorry, the flip lecture really helped me. If I ever not understand any topic, I can just review them back as much as I want to. Plus, the lecturer, the lecture really make me understand on what I am learning. So, I guess this is another thing. Um, they can just go back to the to the lecture recording uh, at any time they want, right? So it's already there. It's available. So this is a part of the thing that why I think. I want to do that because um, otherwise they ca they have to come to see me in the office for example it's good if they come but for certain things um, I think they can independently just view back the lecture and figure out themselves right without disturbing me I'm not saying I do not like to be disturbed but I prefer when they come it's because of something that they cannot get elsewhere so I do like my recording to be there so that anyone who need them can view that first before reaching out perhaps nice idea to have flipped classroom because in class we can only discuss some we can only discuss some of exam question i'm not sure if the student actually mean only discuss or he want to emphasize on because the approach like this is and they have to view the lecture before the class they have the recording and then in class we straight we go on previous exam question and figure out how to solve that one and i think that really helps many of the students because the level of question in the previous exam is actually the question the exam level question and they have seen many of them being being discussed in class so it is advantage and advantages for them uh, it is not imp it's not possible to do that if we have to do the lecture in the class also because that already take like one hour plus right so when that one hour plus is out of the way because it's in the re recording and they watch it beforehand it really help in terms of we can actually discuss exam question but I'm not sure where when he made we can only discuss some of exam question whether he mean we can actually discuss or only some meaning he want to emphasize on even if we discuss exam question in the class it's only some question and yeah i'm not sure but i i'll take that as a positive note i am really impressed with your commitment to make the lecture video for your students however could you make extra special video wow extra special video wow okay that only discuss about past semester exam papers thank you so may allah bless us all okay on this uh i'm not sure um the the background behind this statement because we do as i mentioned just now we do actually uh, discuss previous or past semester exam paper in class um so either um the student do not know where to find this recording um to to go back or um the format of the recording itself is much more helpful when i do it in the form of how i do it for the flip classroom um lecture video right so let, let's go and see what i mean first um okay in this channel right because this is an example of 
of of the flip classroom so we have this lecture for the flip classroom here um that's one thing uh, but also the class um how to say um this one this one is the lecture in the classroom in the lecture hall itself i record also and put in this um its own playlist depending on the semester that i'm in right so uh, and if anyone who want to go for previous semester is also available right for example here oops bismillah assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh so this so, is okay what is going on okay so okay pause here so if you can see here um, let's go down yep so there's a lot of lecture um, that i did in class right um, and many of this in the class um, is actually discussing previous exam question right so i'm not sure um, whether that's the case where um, the, the, the student do not know that they can access that or it is an issue of how it is presented right because uh, when I recorded for the flip classroom it's mostly I'm this close to and the whiteboard is behind me uh, but in the class the camera is much more further away because I want to capture this uh, the powerpoint slide and also the whiteboard right so they cannot see exactly the whiteboard as clear as how I recorded it in class when I, I'm recorded for the flip classroom perhaps that's the case I'm not sure um so yeah if 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 any added comment for this one you can add so that i can know what this mean but anyway um okay nice approach for student but uh, but here uh, he or she says extra special video that is quite interesting comment perhaps I'm assuming with that comment, uh, perhaps the, the 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 request is for me to do as I did the flip classroom also for previous semester exam. So that's quite a challenge. That's quite a challenge because for this semester, just for recording the flip classroom lecture video, uh, most of the time I recorded after midnight when I have done with my task for each day, and that's also uh, yeah a challenge in itself. So. If I can, I, I always want to help the student. If I can, I, I will consider and I find time for it. Otherwise, if it's not for the possible for me or sustainable for me, I have to just ask for forgiveness not to be able to do that. Nice approach for student to learn. Five thumbs up here. And there's a comma there, meaning if there's a comma there, that's not five thumbs up, right? That's like five digit, five figures, right? It's like 10,000 thumbs up. I don't know. <laughs> In my opinion, it's better to add example on the way you solve an exam questions. Okay, um, because um, for the majority of the flip classroom lecture video, I just emphasize on the lecture itself, the concept, and just some example already in the uh, lecture slide. Right? Uh, it is just exactly just like we do the lecture before. Right? Not going into the tutorial or past exam question. Um, but for the later chapter, um, starting from the, the, the uh, thrusters and frame and machine and hopefully after this for friction, I do add more at the end um, question that is more resembling the final exam. Hopefully it helps, right? But for the most part from the early ch um, until the two-third of the semester, is mainly just the lecture. So... Um, I, I do understand this comment, but during my time of doing that, um, that's the best of my ability already. Um, normally, I finish the recording at 2 a.m., sometimes 2, 2, 2 30 a.m., etc. So, it's already be, it's already reaching my limit at that time. So, I'll consider for the benefit for the future, inshallah. But, yeah. The explanation given is very enough. Interesting, very enough for me to understand this topic but sometimes the lenses will just suddenly become blurred okay this is the issue with the previous um recorder the video cam um so that's why we actually buy this one and 
yeah just just mentioning on that one i'm not sure whether i should mention this or not but just because we have mentioned about the camera um there's another video on on why uh, i needed to buy a new camera and also unboxing the video camera as well um but just now after the class um earlier today at the, at the end of the class suddenly one of the students came and talk to me and said that they actually make the collection among the students um, to help me to finance the purchase of the new camera and they said unfortunately I have bought already but they still want to give um, I'm shocked and blown away I, I, I have to say right? I'm, I'm honestly I didn't expect that um, uh, because I know many of the students themselves are not financially, you know, uh, up there. So for them to do that, um, of course, I know the total amount, if you want to compare to the camera, is, is, is still far away. But um, regardless of that, um, the gesture and also the initiative is, is, is just, I'm just so thankful. And hopefully, I pray to Allah Almighty God that um, that 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 one will be, will be considered part of the actual um, spending on this camera anyway and hopefully anything that i do um that 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 is positive that is 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 for the good um with this camera all of you guys also will will share the reward inshallah in the after and we'll have a good time in paradise inshallah all right um but anyway for the blur hopefully there's no more problem on the blurry blurry issue with this this camera inshallah Fortunately, sir can explain it very well so that I don't have to worry about those blood part. Okay. Um, no comment, but sometimes it makes me sleepy. <laughs> right. Um, yes, on this one, I think it depends quite a lot or heavily on how you view the lecture, uh, the recorded lecture. Um, uh, because if you are viewing on the phone, for example, right? Okay, I'm not sure if you can see the phone. If I have blurred part part of, uh, I have used part of this for the screenshot, right? But if you are watching the phone, one is I think the screen is small, and if you look at the distance, you have many distraction around you in your peripheral view than your lecture, right? So that's one thing that can be distraction. So I I prefer it is on the computer screen, so that you can have a full view as well as also because i write on the whiteboard so it's better to see more clearly that's number one i think number two is how you watch it if you watch it while um, you know while lying around lying in a bed etc that also contributes so i do suggest that you you go through anyone who go through lecture on 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 on, on the video and the recording actually attend like you attend the lecture in the class right you have the your notes etc right so um it does have a different effect on the the how to say how active your mind when you are going through the lecture right um yeah especially eh, especially if you are not that well invested or passionate about the subject right because if you are very passionate about the subject even without notebook etc your mind is always active and it captures the, the 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 information optimally right an example an example um uh, one of my murabi previous previous murabi uh, that i respected so much dr hafizi he is so well with um, having all the information inside him about about history especially in this region in nusantara right and it's quite interesting because that is not his um, official uh, field. His official field is on zoology and he's also expert in, in that aspect. He become also expert in the history aspect on his own um, effort, right? Not going to official training or, or, or a class, etc. Right? He, he, he's passionate about that. And that, that, that example he made that how, uh, when, because we, we always ask, how can you remember all those names, years, etc. Right? And he asked back, how can you remember all those players, name, the manager player, for foot, I'm talking about football, huh? the team and each mem team member, um, history of transfer of players, uh, etc. Et right? So that is because we are passionate about that. We do not learn, right? we do not 
Okay, Manchester United. So, okay, I'll, I'll memorize these 11 names. We do not go like that, but because we are passionate about it, the information, our mind become active and we capture the information more effectively. When we go to our study, we are not passionate about it, so that, that's why our mind is not as active and we do not capture the information, right? So, um, you have to make the efforts to make your mind more active, right? If you just listen passively, and your mind is passively getting the information, it will not be optimum, right? So that's my suggestion. Unless you are actually passionate about this subject, right? Uh, we just hear and you, you, your mind is active already. Most students will not be in that category, so I do suggest you have a note, etc., so that your mind is more active going through the lecture recording. All right. Hopefully that helps. Especially, okay. Um, of course, at the general help, you have a copy, coffee, whatever. <laughs> snacks whatever to help you avoid getting sleepy anyway the next question any comment and feedback for the implementation of the quiz all right so this is another subjective comment additional comment for the quiz the quiz make me always study before the class start it helped me to see how much my understanding is on the topic also the group work makes me learn more about teamworks it also makes me study more to be of help to my group. Okay, that's quite positive, I guess. Um, one thing is, of course, that's one of the intention is to trigger or force the student to be more prepared. At meaning every week, uh, they have to be on par of what we are covering, right? So that really help, I think. Individual quiz. Oh, that's that's cap lock. That individual quiz could test our understanding more, and I do agree. Right, because in the group, sometimes you tend to rely on others more. Uh, but then again, um, as I maybe this is a topic for another discussion because we already thirty five minutes. Wow, I didn't expect it to be this long. But anyway, um, my philosophy about the quiz is not just to test or assess as um, assessment of learning of the student. I want to be. It, the assessment for learning meaning the assessment that trigger more learning in the students so my philosophy is like that so hence the discussion is quite different anyway so hopefully we will cover that if anyone interested do comment if you want that kind of discussion being put on YouTube otherwise I'll assume no one interested from my opinion we should have a this short discussion after the quiz result so that the students know where is their mistakes Okay, this is good comment. We haven't done that. Um, pr most probably because of the time issue. Um, so hopefully in the coming weeks, uh, we will go back through all of the quizzes or openly open for any question for all previous quizzes. If any question uh, still do not understand how to address any of the quiz, hopefully we'll do that. Inshallah, remind me if I forget. The implementation of group quiz is perfect. This is the same person, I guess, another five thumbs up. I think you need to be more lenient in deducting mark because of the late submission. Let's say if it's late for 30 seconds, don't do that deduct yet. Because the mark is so precious. So precious. Anyway, um, I hope do, do, they do not become... What is what's that in the Lord of the Ring? Uh, with the quiz. Instead of the ring, holding on to the quiz. Anyway, um... Okay, uh, <laughs> I do understand, but but from my perspective, right, addressing to on this, from my perspective, why do you submit it late? And you say thirty second late. That's that's quite a lot. Now the way I I I uh, I've I've explained this in the very beginning of the semester, the way I deduct mark is that whatever you possibly can get mark in that time whatever time that you lapse between the cut of uh, time of submission and then the paper reach me i will deduct that much right so if you lead 30 second for some of the quiz in 30 second you can actually get like 10 marks you just write two equation or one line of something you might get five mark seven mark depend on the quiz right so i will deduct that mark to be fair to others who who submit on time because you can actually use that 30 second to gain that kind of marks ahead of your friends who submit on time, right? So, for me to be fair, I'll deduct that kind of marks. 
and that varies depend on the quiz because some of the quiz even one line give you five marks so 30 seconds you can write three lines at least four lines you can so i'll do that 12 marks for example so that's how i do it um if you do not want to be deducted marks just submit on time anyway uh, because the the my philosophy is like that meaning that the remaining the extra time that you have you, you can get that marks and i'll just deduct it back if you do not actually get that mark you you write something wrong you'll get deducted meaning the deduction will actually eat up the mark right? so just submit on time i guess max x make make only extra class for just the quiz or maybe it can be two quiz in one day or per two weeks i'm not sure i'm assuming this uh, student who have dropped a lot of mark from the previous quiz so they want to cover back with more quizzes um extra class for quiz um i don't think many students would like that no comment interesting and this is the final um final question any comments and feedback for the lecturer in general right so this is just comment on me in general i don't understand why your previous students give negative comments on you but i like the way you teach us especially when you keep repeating until all of us understand it so it's good to know some students appreciate that even though i'm i keep worried the good student will be bored because i keep repeating the same thing sometimes right but when i still see some confused face i i tend to get anxious and cannot move on and i want to repeat until their face be oh okay something like that um the lecture is very helpful but anyway the pre i don't understand why previous student give negative comment i think it can be various things one possibility is that uh, early on when i start teaching i'm not as good as my myself now i think because you want to good be good at anything it takes time it takes practice so when i first come in perhaps it's very bad for the student i do not know uh, that's one thing and it can be also another factor for example i did that mark a lot or something anyway so this one we covered yes the lecture is the best lecture so far i will not mind learning from the lecture again on other subject so i'll take that as a compliment but uh to put in perspective uh, most of them are first semester first year first semester students so they only learn only from few lectures so far so that might be one of the reason why the comment is like that so maybe in the future and on the subject they will also find other better lecturers perhaps right explains thoroughly and understandable i just want to say thank you for spending your precious time to make video lecture videos for us despite you being busy with other important stuff uh, I would say thank you and uh, no well you are welcome Jazakallah khairan barakallah fiqh hopefully Allah will bless uh, bless us all inshallah very good um, could you make extra special video okay this is the same as before right could you make extra special video that only discuss about the past semester exam paper thanks sir Miss all may Allah bless us all so twice already we have read this one I'll I'll, I'll really consider it and it will depend only, uh, a lot on available time and available you know arrangement inshallah can you teach that <laughs> can you teach dynamic next semester um mm, interesting question um anyway that's another video i guess about because it is not just i i want to teach something but um the lecturer is being assigned to teach certain subject based on the whole department uh, how many lecturer how many subject who is teaching what etc right so it's combination of many factors um i'm for now i don't think i will teach dynamic next semester unfortunately um yes that's as far as i know at this moment because it may change um, because next semester will only start in February, I think. Um, so, yeah, it can change. Uh, but for now, at least because the name has to be put in the system already, my name is not in dynamic. Um, keep up the good work, inshallah. You look serious but quite funny naturally, especially in the YouTube video. 
Okay, um, I'll take that as a compliment if can quite funny is you you're talking about my characteristic. I'm quite funny, but if you because the 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 sentence is like that. You look serious, so it's like my appearance, right? Oh, I look serious, but quite funny naturally. Are you talking about my look? Do I look funny? <laughs> if that is the case, um, fortunately you do not put your metric number here. Otherwise, I okay. No, just kidding. But thank you very much. I guess I I, I hope that's a compliment. Uh, unless you, because some students consider the lecture funny for the different reason, right? For example, I do make joke, and some student feel it's funny. Some student feel that the joke doesn't land well, and that's funny because I try to make joke and it never happened. Lawat tak jadi, so it's funny in different ways. I'm not sure, but at least you are entertained. That's that's good. Um, because I think there's a must be a break in terms of the the intense. Um, how to say? Um, because in in class or something is formal setting, right? So. We have to have some break so that our mind be refreshed in a way. I I do try. I'm not sure if it's effective for everyone. I usually laugh at some parts. Hmm. Hopefully you are not talking about part of my body, because if that that will be weird. But if you're talking about part of the video, it's okay. Uh, it makes me don't feel stress. Keep it up, and it is good if we can discuss uh, the exam paper solution and how. The mark is given. Okay. Um. Yeah. Um. I did mention we did we do discuss the exam paper, but mostly I address how to uh, how to answer the question, the fundamental part of how to draw the free body diagram, how to address, how to tackle, etc. Right. I do not um solve in detail all the numbers all the through because if I do that, we cannot discuss as much question in the limited time. So I prioritize on that. But I do take your point that some of you might want to know how exactly is the marking and the scheme, etc. Um, if we can complete our study early, meaning we have extra classes, I do. I uh, inshallah I'll try to take that into consideration of what we should cover. Um, okay, so that the student will prevent make mistake next time, or maybe you will give a group task that need to be completed in mahala, like solving. Two or three question exam and discuss together in the class. Different group, different question. Interesting, interesting. Um, remind me on to ask this in the class whether all the student agree that I give them assignment to do in Mahalla. Lastly, we need to also perform WhatsApp group. We can discuss in WhatsApp and share the solution there. Um, yeah, so far. Uh, we did, I, I didn't initiate anything like that and it's already week 12 so I'm not sure whether it will still be helpful it might be for the preparation of the final exam right um, but normally because I have a lot of whatsapp group already so that's why normally it doesn't occur to me to add another thing unless I, I know it's very important because I have a lot of groups um, like more than 30-40 groups that everything I have to keep update because there's, there's academic issue there's um, NGO issue, that's etc. 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 Right? So, yeah, I love my lecturer style of teaching because sometimes he, he did also some joke to make me not feel bored or sleepy during classes. But the best part is when he also reminds us as students to always strive for our best to become a good servant of Allah rather than only become the best student. Um, thank you for that note. Inshallah, I'll, I'll try my best. No comment, I thought. Uh, you will teach dynamics for the second semester okay another student brought up dynamics but hmm, I checked the schedule and your name is not there oh, so sad thank you sir um, I'm not sure how to comment on that uh, I'm sad that you said <laughs> even though I'm laughing at uh, yeah um, yeah I'm not sure how to take that but all the best in your dynamics next semester, inshallah. Um, I think you will discover a lot, many, many more lecturers that are also uh, uh, wonderful. Uh, yep. So that's the end. All right. So, wow, it's already almost what fifty minutes. Um, let me check. I, I hope. Yeah, I didn't get a little to rush back home yet. 
So uh, I did not expect this to be this long, and I I'm not right now. I'm not sure whether anyone is still watching this because it's already almost fifty minutes, fifty minutes for reading comments and replying to comments, right? So anyway, um, final remark. Alhamdulillah, semua alhamdulillah. Um, honestly, it has been a pleasure to. I'm assuming at this time, if anyone's still watching, most probably you are my student. I'm not sure if anyone other man than my student are interested to go through all of this for 50 minutes. I'm not sure. But if you are, I'm still glad that you were watching. Um, thank you very much. But for my student, um, it has been a pleasure. Um, keep up the good, good works and hopefully you... you, you you make yourself proud and you make me proud for your, your achievement in, in, in not only in statics and the final but also whatever I have tried to to give especially being uh, the person that you the best that you can be uh, in your life in the eyes of Allah inshallah because that's that's if 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 that is achieved um, that would be a dream come true for me inshallah Right, so um, hopefully um, all your comments will give, will be and keep up keep any other comments coming in, right? Because uh, I I hope you see it this way. Any constructive comment, uh, be even if it's it's like you criticizing um, my flaw, not to criticize basically, but uh, suggestion for improvement. Um, if I do improve and then I help more student in the coming years right uh, hopefully you will also get rewarded for that right because it's from your comment right so do not be afraid and do not you know keep in your yourself any comment that can make me or any other lecturer to become better actually right so do suggest do advise us to become better and you will be rewarded also by Allah Almighty for us improving that will help others right so I see the world like that right so um, do not stop advising i uh, give positive comments and constructive comments etc that's number one number two um what is number two i do some it's already i'm not sure what else to say but anyway so hopefully you have uh, the best four years of your life in this university um get good grades get initially not good grades but get good understanding of what you learn um, have passion about what you learn so that it can become much much effective and beneficial in long term um, grab everything else that you can well in this four years also everything else meaning um, other knowledge etc because when you go out from this university or any other university actually and face the real world right um, and become busy with your work and then you have family etc um, the opportunity will not be the same right so do grab everything that you can um, and hopefully it will lead towards a, a, a great journey of, of life ahead inshallah Wallah alam I should not prolong this anymore it's all, more, more than for 50 minutes already and thank you for all your comments um, and for the remaining 60 students that haven't commented yet um, the, the channel is still open if you want to comment and suggest especially I do hope um, weak student also comment on how should I or any other lecturer help you right what can be very helpful for you um, because we would like to try to accommodate everyone inshallah Wallahu alam. so that's it for today um, have a productive week and semester inshallah and see you in the next video